Hi, I'm Gary from Martin Lynch & Sons. I'm the customer support manager here at the store and I've been asked today to show you the new Icom ID50. Now this is a very, very small, similar form factor to the ID52. Um, it uses and shares a majority of the accessories so you don't need to buy sort of uh, some of the accessories again. Um, it shares things like the battery, um, which I'm told this is supplied with the smaller battery which lasts about eight hours and there is a larger battery available which will last, last I think 12 hours. Um, the display itself, um, if you can see this, is um, a black and white display. It's a high contrast so it's very very easy to see. The menu system is typical icon which is very easy to use and quite intuitive so again all i've done is i've just pressed menu and i'm just scanning through all the bits and pieces now i'm not going to go into sort of lots and lots of in-depth sort of stuff on the radio itself um there is quite a lot of information on our website regards this we're going to hopefully we'll link up to the um to the highlighted uh, brochure and bits and pieces for you so you can have a good look through the radio itself has i noted it's got gps on it and what that means is you can take the radio and in a particular location you can actually ask the radio to look for repeaters around you so it's got that it's got a kind of a really really useful feature on it where it will look for repeaters the other thing that this will do is dual watch it will listen to either two frequencies or two bands but the one thing it won't do is listen to two digital modes at the same time so you can't listen to it won't to do two dv modes at the same time or um, DR, whatever they like to call that. Um, now, just to get into the the, the um, D Star menu system, you press and hold the DR button down there, and you'll go into the list. Now, I believe these um, come pre-programmed, and what I would probably do is um, at the time when you when you first get one of these, is to actually put an SD card in there and actually save the memories down to the SD card. That way, if you accidentally reset the radio, you can at least get your memories back. Um, so what else to say about the, the, the radio? How does it compare against the, the that's an ID52. Um, size wise, um, I don't know if you can sort of see that. Um, they're pretty much the same sort of size. The ID50 is marginally smaller, but the form factor is pretty much the same. Same aerial, like I said earlier, same battery system. It uses the same sort of charger and all that sort of stuff. So there is quite a few similarities. The big difference is that the ID50 um, doesn't come with Bluetooth, I don't believe. It's got a SD card slot in the side, as I said earlier on. So that means you can program from that. So usually Icon make available some software on, on their website, which you can use to program the SD card. Just put it in there, create an ICF file and then read from that file, which is quite good. It's got a band scope on there as well. If you go into the menu and just to select scope, press a little button and you'll see here that we've now got a little drop down uh, scope with signals that are shown on there. So you can actually tune to those signals, um, you know, so that if you, uh, if you sort of see a signal, you can actually tune to it, which is quite a nice little touch. And again, we said before that the display is, is black and white, high contrast, and it, it actually is really, really nice display. The ID50 and the ID52 both have things like picture sharing function, so you can share pictures. So you, you can text message and um, send pictures via the D-Star system. Um, the waterfall display, which we just looked at the scope. Um, the ID50 does not have Bluetooth, according to this uh, chart I've got here and the ID52 does. They are the, both the ID52 and the ID50, both are IPX7. They're both dual band, um, which again is, is very useful. So that's VHF and UHF, and they are both capable of receiving airband. Both have got GPS um, receivers, Interesting one, I think, over the ID52, which I think is a huge Brucey bonus with the, with the um, ID50, is the USB-C charging, which is nice. The operating time on the ID52 is about seven hours, where it's about eight hours on the ID50. 
Now they change accordingly with the size of the battery. So if you put the larger battery in the ID50, they say that it'll be about 12 hours. Now, standby times can vary. I'll just put that out there. Some people, if you've got things like uh, GPS enabled and lots of other functions, that will have a drastic effect on the, on the uh, standby time on the batteries. So do bear that in mind. These are just, you know, lab figures. 500 memories on the ID50, 1000 on the ID52. Dimensions, well, we've, we've looked at that. They are pretty much identical size. The ID50 is about 12 mil uh, shorter, but it's pretty much the same width, sort of that way. And it's a very similar sort of thickness. It's just in the height. I'd say this is more sort of like a pocket size uh, handheld. So who is this handheld for? Well, that's, I think this is gonna be the ICOM's entry level into D-Star. It's gonna be the cheapest, I think, D-Star radio that there, there is. So I, I just think that this is probably gonna be the entry level. So this is gonna be pretty much someone that maybe already has an ID52, wants a second D-Star radio. Maybe you wanna use this in terminal mode, which I didn't mention earlier. Um, if you're using, say, this in terminal mode, you can use this to access that radio. Um, the other little thing I would actually say is that with the USB-C, you can connect this to an Android device, download an app, and then use the, the whole setup as a, a terminal, or either direct terminal speaking into this handout, or use this as a hotspot. Perhaps if you've got um, a second one of these, maybe this is a second handheld you, you might want to use as a hotspot because thinking about it, this is pretty much a similar cost to some of the, um, the hotspots that are available. So if you just wanted a dedicated um, radio to use as a, as a hotspot, then maybe this is an option. So that's who it's for really, I think. Probably this, the D staff, you know, first user, um, this is a great start. Um, or someone that just wants a second D-Star radio. So there you go. Um, and that's pretty much it, I think. Um, we've covered the, the, the accessories. Well, I think we've looked at this band scope and the, the, the battery, the pretty much everything, the D-Star sort of functionality uh, briefly. Um, it's a great little handheld. Um, Icom just knock it out of the park every single time they produce a, a handheld. And I think the, um, the ID52 and now the ID50 are incredibly you know, good radios really for, for the money. Um, I'm not sure what this is gonna come in um, in price wise, so do check our website, www.hamradio.co.uk um, for current prices. And um, that's pretty much it. So I'd say see you next time and uh, hope you have a great weekend.